So hello everyone my name is Ravindra and I welcome you to my YouTube channel In this video we will see how to create an approval workflow by using Power Automate we will use SharePoint as a data source use Power Automate prebuilt connector approval and send the email to the end user okay it is approved or rejected the response in the email so let's why go to the my SharePoint okay so in the my SharePoint this is my time entries list okay and the site name was timesheet power apps okay so in this list i have comment okay user can enter the comments and manager after uh, responding it can also enter the comments okay so we have start with column as well as status okay so let's i showcase you the status column it is status column is pending approve or rejected okay so by default it should be pending so i selected a pending okay and employee and manager is a person type column okay and here he or she can be fill the time sheet and total time sheet will came here okay so this is my sharepoint let's we go to the power automate let's click on the new flow let's click on the automated cloud flow let's give the name to the our flow okay so i just give a name create an approval workflow when an item is created let's simply click on the create So we are using new Microsoft Designer. Okay, here we not need the Copilot. So let's I close the Copilot. Okay, let's drag this to the left hand side corner. Okay, let's use the site address here. Okay, so our timesheet Power Apps is site. Let's provide the list name. Okay, so our list name is time entries. Okay, how often I want to check? I want to check every one minute. Okay, and that's set. Okay. now we will use approvals start and wait for approval okay so it will create a approval okay and wait for the response okay to from the end user so first one to respond we will use this action because only one manager we have so that's why let's provide the title to the approval okay so here i just give a name time sheet for week okay and let's select the week here dynamically simply by adding here okay time shift of week okay and here is a week let's assign the email to here you need just need to click on the switch to advanced mode okay from this just click on the dynamic content and type here manager and just simply select the manager email address here okay so details we need to add the details okay so let's i go to our copilot and let's give you here one prompt okay so before that let's i go and what i need to add here okay so title i need to add comment after that uh, employee takes week start see more okay so i will add the here all the information okay employee display name okay what fields i need to add we will add this all here okay so i need something okay for my total i need okay and any i think apart from that i not needed and also shift value is needed okay so that's all let's use control x we cut down this let's go to the microsoft copilot and let's give the prompt here okay. so here i simply provided a prompt okay kindly help me to write a, write in the good manner this message in the power automate make a good template by using dynamic con paint okay let's i simply click on the enter and let's see what output it is giving okay so here you can be see uh, it is created automatically okay very good template so simply i just copy this okay use control c and let's go to the power automate desktop and simply use control v here, okay automatically uh, this uh, dynamic content will came okay because we use already this one okay let's add the item link here okay so simply just click on the dynamic content and search here item to link item okay description if you need to give, provide some description you can be provide okay so in this case i just not need to add any more description here we have four fields okay so i simply just click on the show all okay 
and here it is came okay so from whom you need to request okay this is one of the most important so requester you just need to select the employee okay email so who is the employee from here you can be select okay if you need to add any attachment so you can simply just click on the add attachment and here you can add the attachment but in our case we not need to add attachment so we will keep it is at a blank okay so first stage is completed let's go add an action let's use your control okay in the control we have one condition option so let's we use the condition let's click on the dynamic content click on the outcome and simply we will type here approve okay let's go to add an action type here sharepoint we need to update the response into in the sharepoint so that's why we use your update action let's i scroll update properties update item is the last action so let's i add this action here update item same action you need to perform here you need to enter the site address okay so in this case it is time sheet list name is our time entries okay id click on the dynamic content and id from our trigger you need to pass click on the show all option here okay so title comment manager comment we need to add here so simply we will type here comment so simply we click on the comments okay so after clicking on the comment it will go in the loop okay you can be see it is in loop update item okay let's i showcase you uh, if you don't want this loop okay this loop will run only one time because our approver is only one and it is first to approve okay so in this case we are getting only one response okay and that's why it is um, it will not run as well okay so if you don't want uh, loop okay so you can use compose in the compose just click on the, this power fx okay and from here dynamic content okay or you can just do simply simple thing just copy this okay by using control a control c just go to compose click on the power fx okay paste it here okay remove this curly brackets and this at the rate and this side okay then add here one question mark use square bracket we want the first record so we will use zero okay one more time question mark okay and we need the comment okay so for that purpose we simply type comment okay so in this way you can be write down the formula so it will not go in the loop okay so you can see one more time okay output start and wait for approval question mark body responsive zero comments that's it okay after running this flow you can be see the manager's comment let's say you see comment manager after entering comment manager we will go add an action here okay use outlook let's simply click on the see more okay and user send an email v2 action here okay let's add into an app let's click on the switch to advanced mode okay and let's click on the dynamic content and we need to send this to employee so we will type here employee and select the email address let's provide the subject to the this email okay weekly time sheet for let's click on the dynamic content in the update item select the week start is let's go and select the status here status value we updated the status value we are fetching one more time okay and uh, simply click on the this advanced mode okay code view okay add the dynamic content here let's add title comment of the ma manager okay then we need the total let's add the status value and simply we just copy this okay and let's go to microsoft copilot we provided a prompt here kindly help me to write html table with css 
in power automate here is my dynamic content okay and we will do colon and let's simply click on the enter here okay so we get the html table okay and also add heading to the html table so we i also need the heading so i simply added here one heading and simply we need to copy this html table okay this much okay we will use control c let's say i go so friends here in um, i am in the microsoft power automate and let's use the same text here okay so you can be see this text we get automatically and this we will get as a dynamic content okay so let's click on the show all okay let's see anything we need to add here okay nothing sensitivity nothing normal is okay priority and other things okay good to go so this is done for the true okay here i added one more time let's use add action here update context okay date share point item simply add this action here update share point item let's select the site one more time time sheet power apps list name let's provide the list name time sheet entries let's provide the id from the trigger and let's click on the show all and in the managers comment we use the this comment okay output so it will not go in. here also we not selected status value so let's we go and change this status value here okay enter custom value click on the dynamic content in the dynamic content we will select the outcome okay in the update one also okay we will go change this enter the custom click on the dynamic content and simply we will select the outcome here okay it will came rejected and here it will auto populate okay the so same uh, action you can be perform here okay so let's we copy same this one okay let's go to here simply first we click on now after updating this value just simply click on the save and just simply click at test manually trigger okay click on the test let's we use go to the share point let's create the new item okay let's provide here time sheet request let's enter the comment let us let's select bill to ravindra and simply click on the save here okay so let's go to the power automate and wait for a few seconds okay it will take one minute to check in the background okay is our flow is trigger or not because we set interval is one minute okay so sharepoint api at every minute we will check any new record is created or not in that list okay so that's why it takes some time so our flow is trigger now you can be see here okay and start and wait for approval action is now started so let's we go to the outlook okay so in the outlook we will receive an email here okay Okay, so you can be see friends we received email time sheet for we okay approver request by ravindra okay, here is email address link to item is also came you can just click on here okay and go to that item okay and also very good uh, description also came by default by using copilot okay good work ravindra okay and uh, let's we click on the submit here so the action completed successfully let's we go to the power automate and see start and wait for approval it is working correct or not and see the power automate as well okay how it's working correct or not the comment of manager comment is coming or not so you can be see our flow runs successfully in the comment manager if you click on the output okay here is comment curve okay work ravindra okay I think I've missed out there. Okay, no problem. But let's I go to the email. So in the email also, you can be see very good <coughs> HTML text boxes came. Okay, weekly report, time sheet request. Okay, work Ravindra. Forty hours approved. So in this way, you can be create the approval work for friends. Okay, if you have any question, any doubt, you can be ask me into comment box. Thank you, friends. Have a nice day. Keep learning. Keep doing. Keep exploring.